everyone i am pujaba rathod and i am a ss teacher today i am going to teach about the two big state which is from standard 7 and i have preferred book jscb gujarat board so uh, this state is about two big state okay now if we talk about the dynasties so in india uh, there are so many dynasties come okay even nowadays if we think that we have so many facilities are that right but we don't know from where it is started so it is started from the very ancient time okay and they uh, from the early human beings they have developed themselves and become and then they started uh, living in civilization then culture and uh, traditions are developed and slowly slowly uh, the dynasties were also uh, arise arose okay so so many dynasties uh, ruled in india in the various part of the india okay during the different different dynasties come during the different period of time also okay and they have ruled for many year and developed india in a better way so uh, are vardhan dynasty there are chalukya dynasty mokhari dynasty tomar dynasty the chola the chera the pandya the gohil okay so many dynasties were come during the time uh, in uh, the past time in the various period of time in a different parts of india so this is about the uh, 600 ce around okay uh, when the harshvardhana born on 600 bc uh, 2 ce so this is about the two big state which is uh, from uh, contemporary ruled by the south india and the north india so in the south india there was a vatapi uh, as a capital vatapi in which is from uh, chalukya dynasty and the pulkeshi 2 was the king of chalukya dynasty and uh, uh, in north india there was a kannoja as a big state and which is from vardhan dynasty so before we start the chapter i would like to uh, give introduction about the character so there are a prabhakara vardhana who was the founder of vardhan dynasty rajya vardhana who was the son the eldest son of prabhakara vardhana harsh vardhana harsh vardhana was the younger son of prabhakara vardhana and Uh, prabhakara vardhana has had two son and one youngest daughter youngest daughter was rajyashri rajyashri was the youngest daughter and the only sister of rajyavardhana and harshvardhana after that there was a king of shashanka uh, she king of goda which is shashank and there was a devgupt a king of malwa there was a bhaskar varma who king of kamrup assam Hyun Sung was a Chinese traveler who uh, we can say that he was the you know important character in this uh, topic because we got lot of information about the writing of uh, Hyun Sung he was a Chinese pilgrim a Chinese traveler who stayed in India for a lot of time and uh, he traveled uh, almost all part of almost all the border part of India he made different different accounts of different king he mentioned in that about that particular thing next is the divakar mitra who was the buddhist hermit and who live in the vindhya forest okay next up we go uh, acharya nagarjuna acharya shilabhadra who belongs to the nalanda university who help harshvardhana to make nalanda university worldwide famous okay so uh, another if we talk about the state vatapi so there was a pulkeshivan who was the great king of chalukya dynasty after then kirti varma kirti varma was the son of pulkeshivan and the grandson of pulkeshivan was pulkeshi 2 okay so these all are the character that we uh, that we learn about in this chapter so let's just first talk about so let uh, let's just start from the harshvardhana harshvardhana uh, was born in 606 ce common era okay he was a great king in his time but uh, prabhakara vardhana who was the founder of vardhana dynasty prabhakara vardhana who was the founder of vardhana dynasty after the death of prabhakara vardhana his elder son rajyavardhana ascended the throne okay later 
Shashanka, who was the king of Gorda, he killed uh, Shashanka because uh, when the battle happened with uh, happened between Shashanka and Rajyavardhana, Shashanka want to capture the land Thaneshwara, so he uh, attacked on Thaneshwara, where that uh, that time uh, Rajyavardhana was the king of uh, the Thaneshwara. So. Uh, he was unsuccessful to defeat Shashanka, so Shashanka uh, defeated Rajyavardhana. After the death of Rajyavardhana, uh, at the same time, the king of Malwa, king of Malwa, Devgupt, who defeated Grahavarma and impressioned Rajyashri. Now, Rajyashri was the daughter of Prabhakaravardhana. Okay, there's a short story behind it I would like to share with you. It is about the Mokhari dynasty. The Kannoja was not, uh, uh, Pele say, wo, it's not belong to the Vardhana dynasty. Okay, it is belong to Mokhari dynasty. So, Avanti Varma. Avanti Varma was the great king of Mokhari dynasty and was the only ruler at that time. He had only one son, Graha Varma. So, after the death of Avanti Varma, Graha Varma ascended the throne. Graha Varma also married to the daughter of Prabhakara Vardhana, Rajyashri. So, uh, when the Avanti Varma died, uh, Graha Varma concerned about the increasing power of Dev Gupta. Because Dev Gupta, from the very first, uh, you know, uh, wanted to capture the land Kannoja. Wo pehle se hi land jo Kannoja hai, us par, uh, us land ko capture karna jata tha pehle se So, uh, after the death of uh, Avanti Varma, jo Graha Varma hai, who was always concerned about the uh, increasing power of Dev Gupta, because, and when the Prabhakara Vardhana died, okay, at the same time, Graha Varma attacked on Kannoja and defeated uh, Graha Varma. And then, he also impressioned Rajyashri in his own land. Okay, he was in prison mein usko imprison kar diya tha. So, that's the story behind it. So, to Harshvardhana's first priority was to free her sister from Graha Varma, uh, sorry, from Dev Gupta. So, uh, as leader advised to Harshvardhana that you should take all the responsibility now uh, of uh, Thaneshwara on your because Rajyavardhana was died, so after that, yeah, okay, in their time, if there are uh, more than two, yeah, to more than two uh, son was there, uh, king sons were there, so the elder one got the first chance to be the king, okay? So, as you lay, Rajyavardhana, who was the elder son, tha, isle, who got the first chance, to be, uh, first chance to be king of their time. So, after the Prabhakar, uh, after the Rajyavardhana, as leader advised to Harshvardhana, Harshvardhana ascended the throne and took all the responsibility on, a, uh, on his shoulder. Okay? So, after the ascended the throne, her first thing he wanted to do to free her sister from, uh, from the clutches of Dev Gupta. In order to that, he also... Uh, uh, went to search out her uh, sister okay at the same time meanwhile same time Rajyashri was uh, successful to ex escape uh, from the clutches of Dev Gupta and he escaped to the Vindhya forest okay now the Harshvardhana wanted to search out her sister so in order to search her sister he also uh, went to Vindhya forest and he took help of people living there जो वहाँ पे लोग रहते थे, उसकी उसने मदद ली और राजेश्वरी को find out करने की try किया, okay? So one of them was Divakar Mitra. Divakar Mitra was the Buddhist hermit and he lived hermit means uh, we can say a sannyasi. So he was a Buddhist hermit and who lived in Vindhya forest. So he Vindhya forest में रहता था. So now Harshvardhana with the help of Divakar Mitra, he search out her sister and stop her from committing sati. Okay, now, uh, during the time of Harsha Vardhana, there were so many evil customs were there that we are going to, for, uh, that we will learn in further. So, but uh, one of them was Sati Pratha. Now, in Sati Pratha was that, that after the death of their, his husband, जो उसकी वाइफ्स होती है वो आल्सो यू नो बर्न देमसेल्फ अलाइव वो अपने uh, खुद को जिंदा जलाती थी, थी दैट इज अ सती प्रथा व्हिच इज द इविल कस्टम ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ हर्षवर्धन सो राजेशी वाज आल्सो गोइंग टू डू दैट बट हर्षवर्धन स्टॉप स्टॉप हर टू कमिटिंग दैट 
okay so the thing now the kannauj state were no, uh, kannauj jo state hai wahan par koi king nahi tha because graha varma was the only ruler and rajyashri and graha varma don't have any king cuz in uh, their time rajyashri was only 12 years old sirf 12 years thi so another evil custom was there ka childhood marriage because rajyashri was only 12 years old और वो उसके शादी हो गई थी विद द ग्राह वर्मा सो अनदर इविल कस्टम ऑल्सो दैट दैट इज अ चाइल्डहुड मैरिज ओके सो नाउ राजश्री वाज टू लिटिल टू हैंडल द ऑल दिस रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ कन्नौज सो इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प अ सिस्टर जो हर्षवर्धना है हु बिकम द रूलर ऑफ कन्नौज एंड ही ऑल्सो सिट ऑन द थ्रोन विथ हिज सिस्टर in order to help her sister he also uh, you know trans uh, transferred his capital city from thaneshwar to kannauja just to help her sister okay and he uh, you know managed kannauja by uh, then so this is what happened but after that harshvardhana wanted to kill grah varma uh, wanted to kill dev gupta so he also defeated dev gupta and later in order in the preparation to attack on shashanka because shashanka was a great warrior okay so uh, harshvardhana needed to be strong to uh, you know attack on shashanka so he aligns with the bhaskar varma bhaskar varma who was the king of kamrup assam aligns with him and now together they have a huge army and with the help of that huge with the help of that huge army they got the land of dev gupta malwa and become the ruler of malwa he defeated uh, also, he also defeated shashanka the king of god now the harshvardhana got the major part in the north india okay so this is what happened during their time but after the seven victorious year harshvardhana was not successful was not successful to defeat pulkeshi 2 which we are going to learn in next topic okay so pulkeshi 2 ko harane mein wo nakam raha isliye jo harsh aabhar 